Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is, have you ever met your favourite author and if so, did it change the way you feel about their books? <clears throat> well, to begin with, I have to put a few caveats on favourite author. I'm going to exclude myself because that would just be a little bit too postmodern. And for reasons of fairness, I'm going to exclude people that I knew as friends before they became authors and people I knew through some existing business relationship. So all the authors I've collaborated with in some way. So my favourite author who I don't have some special connection to. It's a hmm, tricky question. I mean, my favourite author in the whole wide world is H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, I've never met him because he died before I was born. I, like a number of other Lovecraftian authors, but not enough to seek them out. Uh, I've never met Dan Abnett. I wouldn't object, but again, I don't feel a need to seek him out. I generally don't feel that celebrity urge, as it were, the desire to meet the artist rather than appreciate their art. So I haven't sought out authors. I've bumped into a couple of authors, one of whom I was introduced to with This Is X. They'd prefer not talking about their work because it really gets tedious having to answer the same questions over and over again, which is fair enough. So we had a nice conversation about medieval sword fighting, which was vaguely interesting in a way that didn't really engage with their books, but made me think of them as more of an interesting person rather than as a tap that pours out art. So not really met my favourite author. The extent to which meeting someone would change how I felt about their books. I am quite liberal. I am quite, I hope, fair-minded. I have a strong sense of social responsibility. I try not to allow gender, sex, race, religion, or other criteria to bleed through into decisions where they're not a relevant criteria. H.P. Lovecraft was a racist. Whether or not you say, well, he was only as racist as his times, he was a product of his society, we can't judge him by our modern standards, he was he improved towards the end of his life. He was worse. Wherever you put yourself on the spectrum, taken against today's standards, H.P. Lovecraft was a racist. But that wasn't something I knew when I first read his books, and I liked them. Because I liked his books, I... and more. And over the course of finding more books, I also discovered just what his view on race seemed to be. And that didn't change my feelings about the quality of his work, because I hadn't made the connection when I first read them between horrible fishman monsters 
and the immigrants that he was railing against. So possibly, and the way it changes my feeling about books, meeting the author, if the author reveals something to me about the book, that might change things if it differed from my understanding because I tend to think, well, the author is the person who best knows what the book, quote, really, unquote, says. But even then, a book is a fusion of the author, the other professionals who went into making the book, and the reader. The cover of a book can change the way someone feels about a book. The blurb can change the way someone feels about the book by raising certain aspects to prominence or raising a certain expectation of what's going to happen that will either be met or not met. <clears throat> and so there are lots of things about a book that aren't anything related to the author. And even if you're just reading the text without any issues of cover, blurb, typesetting, your particular mindset at the time you read it, a book is still a series of words that hint at the image in the author's head. So the book you're reading is not the book that the author necessarily thinks they wrote. And because that was something I discovered when I was taking my A-levels, I've had decades of internalising the fact that the book I read is not identical to the author's book. So if I meet the author, I could have an interesting conversation about whether or not certain things were going to happen in the future, various other things, but as I was discussing with my writing partner Simon Canton on Saturday, sometimes a fan will come up to you and they absolutely love a book and they will babble on about how much they loved it and you think this is great because someone loving your work is great and you have this wonderful discussion and then they'll tell you about their favourite scene in the book which you don't think was in there. That their life to the point they read the book is different enough to yours that one of the scenes appears so radically different to them from when you wrote it that you don't recognise it. So I don't expect the author to reshape the book for me. I might do. If I read an, if I met an author and chatted about one of their books that I hadn't read yet, and then I read it, what they've said in the conversation is going to have a strong influence on how I experience the book. But for favourite books, books I've read several times, if I then did happen to meet H.P. Lovecraft in the street and we struck up a conversation and we got past the fact that I'm probably not what he'd expect a British professional to be like with his almost fetishism of the English professional classes, that if we got to that point, his perception of what his books were about would probably be different enough that it would be the same as having a conversation with anyone else who thought the books were about something else. So it would range somewhere between we mostly agree but disagree on a number of points to the experience you have 
of meeting someone on a bus who wants to tell you about how the government are putting alien DNA into toothpaste. Now, obviously, an author isn't going to be quite that off the wall. Not because authors don't get off the wall, but because we usually bleed it out into our own work rather than tell people about these things on buses. But you don't... Your perception of toothpaste isn't strongly influenced by meeting someone who was in a toothpaste advert and now says that toothpaste has alien DNA in it. Because some ideas are so far outside of your experience that it doesn't have a chance to get a grip on this worldview that you've got. And so, hmm, if I were to have a favourite author who I could meet, I would probably enjoy the experience because there's going to be a lot of stuff that we could have a conversation about, probably. But because they're my favourite author, I'll already have read lots of their work, so I'll have built up this image of what their books are that is likely to be stronger than the actual reality. And so it would take more than a meeting, it would take an extended conversation over weeks of acquaintance and so on, for their perception of the books as they think they wrote them to start pushing away my embedded perception of the books as I think I read them. So, having veered into my favourite territory of nebulous perceptionism, I'll leave you to find some certainty in your life. Toodaloo!